what's up everyone so we've got another image sent in she has sent in one of her images for us to edit and i'll be putting all her links down in the description so you guys can go give her a follow down there so coming down and looking at her feed you can see we've got a very bright and vibrant feel to the images so we're gonna have to take out those shadows and add in quite a bit of clarity for that for that pop and if we come down we'll see the image we're going to be working with this one right here trying to recreate its exact edit so yeah a nice vibrant look taking out the shadows adding in adding in some uh, clarity for that pop and then bringing down some highlights for the flat look and a fade in those shadows also for the flat look so let's get into Lightroom okay so here's our edited image and our raw unedited file first things first let's brighten it up a lot as you can see it's very underexposed and then we will chuck in a lot of warmth into the image and so a very common thing for these types of travel images is clarity so I see a lot of especially travel girls using clear a lot of clarity in their images and it just adds it's different from sharpness it's I describe it as a glassy look and it just makes the image look a, a lot more crisp but you don't want too much of it or you want to lower your contrast when you use it because otherwise it can look a little uh, not not very smooth can really make your image look quite harsh okay so highlights can come down it's also a very common thing I see uh, and then we look about right we've got to do a lot of work in the curve so don't worry about these too much at the moment let's do a lot of dehaze but saturation okay working with the curves really simple s curve in the red green and blue channels again and then just a nice fade in this one here Okay, so that's the curves done as you can see just a real simple s curve a bit more in the highlights because it's quite a vibrant look she gets quite a vibrant look to her images and a bit more in the mid tones so simple s curve and then this one we use to just uh, fade it out a bit so if I get rid of this one it's very flat and curve you can see there's a bit too much contrast and then if I bring that back really just adds a soft fade into that into those dark areas and then you still get that color pop and the control that the curves allow for so that is a very typical S curve and fade with this curve here so okay our image is looking a little too warm so we're going to move down to split toning now and we're going to add a lot of blue into the image and both the highlights and the shadows 
as you can see we are much cooler in the shadows in her one than we are in our one yet so just pick a nice teal Okay, uh, let's mess around with some hue saturation. So I'm going to come in with some brushes to brighten her up and her face. So I'm not going to pay too much attention to that yet. So let's pick things like, see this little spot of yellow on the rug here of the camel. So we know our yellow's got to be brought way down. So you can see it over here. It's very faded there. Let's bring it right down. And you can also see over there that it's very orange rather than yellow. So, and it's the same goes for it here. It's very desaturated. Bringing it right down. And the yellows, I'm going to warm up a lot as well. Oranges need to come down a bit. You can see our background is a little too saturated. Uh, greens, so you'll just be looking not much greens in this at all. Tiny bit of blues and aquas. Just bring the purples down a bit. Just looking at the magentas. So we're going to have to shift them in the hues as well. As we look a little pink to our, and they look a little more on the reddish side. It's very subtle, but it's what you got to do to match things up so I'm going to shift them all the way across purples shift them all the way across as well no greens Okay, so I think our background, uh, so the reds are also affecting the deeper parts of the background. Just gonna make it more of an orange. Okay, so uh, I want to get rid of this vignetting. You can see how there's just no darkness in the corners of the image and the lines are a bit more straight so what we want to do is come down profile corrections gets rid of all that vignetting okay so we want to do some work with the luminance now and it's quite a dark image so we want to give the a bit more of a pop and so we're going to add brightness to a lot of these colors. So say for reds, you can see how that really brightens the image. So we're going to bring them up. Yellows. You can see it gives a bit of a shine to the hair. And going by this little spot of yellow there, we need to bring it up a bit. blues we've got to make these pop you can see they're really popping in her image so you can see that they go almost a white and you can still see ours 
So brighten them up a lot. Purples. I think purples are the same. And magenta. Okay, looking good. I just want to add a little bit of grain to this image. And um, now I think we can just do some brushing. So we need to make our subject stand out a bit, a bit too much in the shade at the moment. So if you grab a brush, I just show you what it's. I've already placed the brushes, so this is just affecting our entire subject. And if we up the exposure. take out the shadows we want a nice vibrant looking image bringing up the shadows does that a lot and then let's add some sharpness to our subject and then I'll just do one more brush to brighten her face so as you can see it's just affecting her face there a little around her face exposure Clarity. And some sharpness again to the face. Okay. Let's go. Let's figure out some sharpness. Or... Okay, sharpness we want to bring up just a bit and then we definitely want to bring up the masking. So what masking does is it just allows you to sharpen the larger edges. So we just want to sharpen the main areas. We'll go about there and then we want to do a bit of noise reduction just a little bit. And that will just smooth out the image ever so slightly. You, you lose a little bit of sharpness, but I think it's a, worth it sometimes. It just helps get rid of that digital look quite often. Okay, and then we'll come back up. I think we're looking a little too bright maybe. Um, let's just drop shadows a bit and the whites the whites are a little too bright okay i'll just leave it there guys we look pretty similar and yeah i'll leave your links down in the description so you guys can go down there give her a follow if you like her content she's got some pretty awesome content so go give her a follow down there let her know you found her over on my youtube we'll really appreciate that and yeah uh if you guys are into video i have links down in the description if you guys want to learn how to edit video and color grade video check those links and if you guys are liking these tutorials check out the presets because there's been a ton of really good feedback from them, how they're really improving your guys editing, giving you the tools to get started and a lot of you say struggle with the curves, there's tons of good curves in there for you guys to get a good base, learn, learn what different styles need and yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one but comment down below who you guys want to see. So then I can go through all the comments 
and then reach out to them on Instagram, ask them to send in a photo, and then do a tutorial on them. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next one.